welcome to Narrowboat Precious Jet. My name is Steve Tyrrell and you join us at Swan Lane Wharf at Swan Lane in Coventry on the Coventry Canal. Um, today is Monday the 6th of December. Yeah, I believe that's correct. Um, not been to the boat for the week. I uh, wasn't here last week, but uh, I'm here now. Had to do a few jobs around here before doing the recording. Um, last week when I run the boat, um, Obviously I was running the prop shaft and when I left I did turn the stern greaser however it's still been dripping so the back of the boat had a bit of water in it this morning um, the joys of owning a narrow boat so one of the jobs today is to fill up the stern greaser and get that sorted um, stop it dripping anymore and I've also been through the boat and tidied all my tools up so all my tools are now in the kitchen cabinets. So I'll put them in the drawers and in the cabinets out of the way so I can move around a bit easier, make life a bit easier for me. So let's get into the video. Um, this week we'll be starting the vanity unit. Um, so we'll unwrap it, have a good look at what we've got, decide what we need to get from the plumbers, uh, take a trip down the plumbers and start sorting. It's rather cold in the boat this morning. As you can probably see, I've got a bit, of, it's a bit cold. But um, we'll be okay. Once we start working, we'll soon warm up. In fact, I'm nice and warm already because I've already been working cleaning out the back of the boat. Okay, so um, if you're not subscribed, consider please consider doing so. Much appreciated. And also, if you do decide you enjoy today's video, then uh, please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you've got anything to say whatsoever, <clears throat> oh excuse me, if you've got anything to say, then please uh, comment down below. I do love your comments. Um, any criticism or advice is always welcome. Um, you don't know whether you've done something wrong or you're doing a good job until somebody tells you. So any any criticism advice, far away, I don't mind. And any other comments then down below, be perfect. Okay, let's get into the video and uh, see how far we get. Okay, so let's have a quick dig into the parcels, see what we've got. Okay, we've got a, a drain. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to go down to um, the Chandlers down at Braunston and see if I can uh, pick up a, um, an adapter, plastic adapter from this down to um, the pipe. So that's not an issue. I can do that one day this week, that won't be a problem. Oh, okay, nice new mixer tap lock. That'd be good. Oops, excuse me. Oh, oh. oh, excuse me. Okay, nice new mixer tap. Fabulous. And there's something else in the bottom here. Oh, okay, yeah, it's got all the fitting kit in the bottom as well. A couple of pipes. Um, so their joints on to 15 mil. So that's quite handy. And then obviously these go up under the tap. So that's uh, that's good. So we just that'll slot in nicely with our other 15 mil stuff. Um, all the feed to the sink uh, in the bathroom is 15 mil anyway, so that's handy. Okay, let's put them two to one side. The uh, the packing for this. Um, is rather good. I, I was quite impressed with all the, the bits of foam on the edge to protect the parcel. Um, and from what I could see with all the parcels, not one of them was damaged. They were all really good condition. So, um, the local parcel company that, that brought it, Herms. Um, I've never been impressed with Herms. Every time I've had a parcel off them, it's been damaged or opened or looks like someone's had a good look inside. Uh, but this one, Obviously, they, uh, the packing was really good, and uh, all the parcels are intact, so that's, uh, that's good. Put these out of the way. They'll be in the tin today. You have to excuse me, I'm a little bit sniffy today. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice shallow sink. Oh, um, 
I didn't get a sink that was quite deep because there's no need for it because all I'll be doing in there in the bathroom is uh, washing my hands after going to the toilet and brushing my teeth so there's no need to have a deep sink in there and I wanted something really thin and shallow that would fit in nicely and that's uh, that's that's quite good that it's quite happy with that so I'll put that the paper on. okay right let's uh, let's get the other box out and have a look at the big box I don't know whether it's me or whether it's the phone but the focus this morning on the camera don't seem great right let's have a let's have a look at this one then So that's how I'm kind of toying with the idea of having the sink um, and for the simple fact is I want access into here which I still could do if I turned it the other way let's just have a quick look turn it that way I've got a bit of space there now I suppose um, but I'd like I'd like a lot of access into here because I'm, I'm gonna put a little door on here <clears throat> and um, and I'll keep me bathroom stuff in there like spare toilet rolls uh, the gulper pump and uh, the gulper pump for the shower will be there and the bilge pump under the floor will be there as well so that if the water tank at the front bursts it'll automatically pump out any water in the bottom of the boat um, if I have any leaks or anything so that's for that um, so I'll need access into there at some point anyway and I'm thinking if I have it mounted that way although I can get to its limited access However, if I just turn it, hang on a second. If I just turn it back to how it was. However, if I fit it that way round, in this gap here, door opens, which way does the door open? Oh, well, that's a pity, the door opens the wrong way. Um, I'm sure I can move the door around and have it open the other way. That wouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, and then in this bit here, I could have like a little door there that will only open temporarily now and again. And I could also have um, like a, a storage above it. So I could have the little door about that high, you know, and then all above that up to about here. So you've got about a foot of space there of uh, storage for towels and things like that, you know. Um, I'll have to get my head around this and have a good think about it. Yeah, it's getting there though. It'll do. That's uh, that's quite nice. You get the idea. It kind of uh, it 
So that back in there will match what's in the shower. That's the same wood or board, should I say. I don't think you can, you can't guys can't see it. It's too dark in here. That's the only problem with working in a narrowboat when it's uh, when you ain't got many windows. You can't really see what's going on. You see that better now? Not really. Sorry guys. But that board at the back there matches the board in the shower, kind of. Um, the only way I can get it to fit, that board there is up and down. That board there is across. So it's a bit of a bodge, but it is matching wood. So I'm quite happy with that. And um, what I'll do now is I'll box in this side piece here, put a door on here, box in this piece here, and that'll be uh, that'll be it. Put a little shelf in here, look. A little shelf in just in here. You can't see, can you? So just either side of the sink there'll be a little shelf and that'll be for uh, toothpaste and soap and stuff, you know. There you go, that's a bit wider. That's probably where it's going to sit, like that. There you go. How's that? You can't see the board, can you? I haven't got a light either. I have, I've got my LED light, but it strobes. So it would just flash on the camera. See if we can get a better idea later. Okay. Well, I've got to go and do a few jobs for a friend in a minute. So I'm almost done on the boat today. So I'm going to tidy up and uh do the do the stern tube i've got to fix i've got to fill the grease pot up on the stern tube so i'm going to do that before i go so that's my last job for the day is tidy up fill the grease stern tube and then i'm gone i'm gonna go and visit a friend okay all right stand by <laughs> <coughs> Tuesday the 7th and I've brought out the boat and I've brought this out of the, um, the boat with me uh, straight from work today so I've just come from work now like I say straight from work nipped to the boat it's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning picked up the drain plug as you can see that's the drain fitting for the uh, bathroom sink uh, and I'm just going to go nip over to uh, Midland Chandler's at Braun's for now and see if I can get some fittings for this. So, um, okay, come along. Welcome back, Wednesday the 8th. Uh, as you saw, I went, uh, did a bit of shopping yesterday. Um, things I've already got, so that was my drain for the sink. And I've bought a couple of other pieces. So this screws into the bottom of the drain. That screws into this. And then this screws into that. And that'll be the bottom of my drain then, straight out the side of the boat. I'll trim the end of this off and the pipe will fit onto that. What I'll probably do is when I've drilled the end off, I'll, when I've cut the end off, I'll drill the end out a little bit more just to allow, allow a better flow. Um, but apart from that, that'll be it done. So um, in the bathroom, unfortunately, it's a very, very dark. Oh, it's even darker in here, look. Okay, let's go back in here for now. Um, let's see what we can do. So it's a very dark, dark Wednesday uh, it's about quarter to nine in the morning um, I could put the light on and show you a bit more but as you know my light flickers so I might um, stick the light on later um, set the camera up and see if it calms down and if it does calm down I'll do a bit of recording if it doesn't calm down I'll just show you what I've done um, 
So all I'm going to do is make a bit of a cupboard that sits next to the uh, the vanity. That's all. Uh, the cupboard will be there, or sorry, not a cupboard, but a bit of a rack. The rack will be there so that I can take. Um, I can put towels in it to start off with, but I'll also be able to slide the rack out so I can get access behind the shower and use that for storage, and also access for the the bilge pump for the bilge, and also the the uh, gulper pump for the shower. So that's a, a, a nice little maintenance area. And the vanity, I'll, I'll make the vanity fit so that it's easy enough to remove. So if I need more space to get in, I can remove the vanity as well. So, okay, bear with me. And if the day lightens up, we'll do more videoing. If it stays dark, then unfortunately you ain't going to see a great deal. Okay, catch you soon. Right, let's hope the, uh, the camera stays without any lines flickering. So I don't think you can quite see here, but I've got the board measured out um, with bits, with lines across here. Uh, this is going to turn into my towel rack, if you like, or towel cupboard or open cupboard or carcass, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's not going to be very big. It's only a small build, uh, just enough to slot into that gap next to the sink. So um, stand by and we'll do a bit of cutting inside the boat. Right, so that is the rough draft or the rough made part of the um, <clears throat> bathroom towel rack, if you like, uh, just so I can measure it and see if it fits and how it looks and all that sort of stuff. Um, if it looks nice and it fits and it's okay and it's all good, then I will sand it and paint it. I'll take it apart, sand it, paint it. When I put it back together, I'll glue it. Um, I know the screws through the end into end grain is not great um, I would like to have done pocket holes however there's not enough space to get the drilling to screwdriver in once the uh, once you're putting the cover back together um, so I couldn't do pocket holes on this occasion unfortunately I would like to have done but never mind I still need to make another shelf um, this is the foot this end here this is the foot and this is also the back that you're looking at now um, so what I'll do is I'll fit another shelf and it'll be about, in fact, let me get the tape measure on me. If I can find out what I've done with the tape. Let's have a look, can't find the tape. Um, yeah, I have a tape measure around. Oh, it's in my pocket, silly boy. Right, so the gap between that two there is 43 and a half centimetres. Sorry, 34 and a half centimetres. And the next shelf will put me about there, which is nice. So that'll give me a nice bit of a gap under the under the bottom and equal shelving that'll be two shelves in there and i can keep uh, towels or toilet rolls or whatever in there so let's go into the other room and have a quick look see what it looks like okay so the top of this will be painted white uh, in fact the whole the whole unit will be painted white the ends here i will probably fill use some filler and paint that in um, and I've also got to trim the back of the cupboard out, like I said, to fit the hose behind. Look, you can see the hose there. So there's a few things I've got to do yet, um, but it will get there. It's, it ain't looking too bad. Um, I want it to be a... I don't mind the fact that it's a slightly loose fit. That's okay, because, um, like I said, I want to be able to get it in and out for when, I've, um, um, when I want access to the back there. Yeah. And then what I might do is I might have to fit... Um, a bit of a loose back in here somewhere, um, a false back in it so that you can't see them, them pipes there where the waste is. So right, let's carry on.
sorry, you're gonna have to excuse the flicking of the light. I am back at the boat. It's uh, Thursday the 9th. I'm only gonna be here for two hours today, do a bit of sanding, a bit of painting on that cabinet I made. Um, still quite early in the morning, it's only just gone eight o'clock. Um, got the light on, as you can see. Sorry about that, guys. I can't do nothing about it at the moment. But as soon as it gets a bit lighter outside, I'll try and do a bit of recording in the boat today. If not, uh, I'm only here to do some sanding and painting. You won't see nothing. Um, I might try and do a bit of measuring up because behind the shower unit I'd like to try and uh, fit some shelves but um, we'll have a look at that and have a quick measure up today and see what we can do. Okay. Right, so this is the plan, or kind of at the moment anyway. You see that? Is that any good for you? You see it? That's the plan anyway. Fit this in here like this. Just need to do a little bit of marking, but that's not too bad. Okay, so that's my plan. <clears throat> What's your thoughts? What do you think? I know the grain goes the wrong way. Um, I haven't got enough board to do it a little ways. A uh, lot the bottom and in the shower. But that is kind of a start. Don't think that's too bad actually. What I need to do now is get some wedges to wedge the board in here uh, for when I stick it. I'll get some uh, and wedge it in. Um, it should be okay I think and then this bit here I can prop I can put the props on this bit so I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do that's uh, satisfactory I think okay okay sorry about the lack of video for today but I'm done um, quick whistle stop tour of what I've done painted stuff filled a bit painted it made a mess on the floor um and glued boards in so although you can see a white board there at the moment that has got the shower board behind it so i can't do much now until that's dried and stuck firmly in place so uh that's me done for the day props in i've got wedges over there look wedging the back of it in i can't get a prop in the back but i can't i have wedged it so that should hold it there is a bit of a gap there but um see that can you, can you see the gap there a little gap in there and it sticks out a little bit so that bit there i may have to paint brown just to hide it um but you know it'll it'll get there it'll get there right guys thank you very much lots of tidying to do again all right see you tomorrow hello welcome back friday the 10th of december um can't do it much this morning at the moment because of the light as always you can see I've got the light on you can see it flicking in the background um, so I'm going to do some jobs and I will show you at the end because you ain't going to enjoy this flicking light so uh, give me a couple of hours until the sun gets a bit higher and gets a bit brighter in here um, it's eight o'clock in the morning at the moment so give it another couple of hours I've got a couple of boards to make and a bit of painting to do so the painting you don't need to see that's you know you don't need to see the painting um, the boards I will show you once I've finished. If I if I do the painting now and it gets lighter, I'll show you I'll show you my measuring the boards and all that sort of stuff. It's only just to make a shelf in the in the bathroom and that sort of stuff. Okay, stand by. What do you think? Obviously the floor will be clean and that pipe will disappear but uh, that is roughly how it's going to look when I'm finished. I like that. I like it. I was, um, I had got my heart set on having it across this way but um, 
Lady PJ had a look and decided that she wanted it this way. Although she said it was my choice, um, she wants it this way. She gets it this way. So that's had a couple of licks of paint on it now. I could really do with putting another top coat on it and I may well do. I'm gonna leave it here for the weekend and uh, see how it looks. I still have to trim up in the back here, look. So I need to put a hole in the side here and bring a tube out for the sink to go in the, into the, there. And also this side, the same for the uh, tubes. So what I might, for the, um, the one on the left is for the shower gulper pump and the one on the right is for, uh, is for this, the, the vanity. So what I might do is I might put a false wall in here. So you only get uh, half of this and you, all you'll see is the back. Um, but this will still be removable. It will still be able to take it out. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll put a deeper back on the bottom so it's got a full depth back or almost full depth. Um, so that's what I'm thinking for now. Uh, but that'll do for next week. Um, I've done a few today. Uh, I need to wait for the paint to dry before I can do anything else really. Um, up here there's a bit of trim that goes on here. So that'll, that'll get hidden. And then what I'll do is at the top here, from here upwards, I'll cap this off. It'll have like um, uh, a cover on there. Something similar to, uh, where is it? I might try and use a bit of the off cut of this maybe and have it as an air vent. Um, because when the bilge blower's on, It'll, it'll come out here. This is where it will exit, or a lot of it will exit. So, um, yeah, not looking too bad. Needs to put a bit of trim in there. I also covered the wires at the top, so all the wires run at the back there. So that needs to be covered up as well. But that don't look too bad. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, not looking too bad. Right, my next job. Look at the mess. Okay, so I'm gonna spend an hour tidying up and then that's gonna be me done for the day, I think. So, sorry I haven't shown you a great deal of uh, cutting up and stuff, but, um, you know. Another thing as well, while I think about it, that there, there's a gap there, let's see. But when I've trimmed up the back of this, that was, this cupboard will sit back against the wall. Or something. Okay, it's only a centimeter gap. <laughs> Look, takeaway taps. Faucets, taps, faucets, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, right. Mm, tidying up. Mm. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, then please give me a thumbs up. Um, also, if you've got any comments or anything you'd like to say, good or bad criticism or advice, I'd love to hear your comments or love to see your comments in the. Uh, in the box below so don't forget to do that and also if you are not subscribed then um, please consider doing so much appreciate that as well so I'd like to thank all my um, uh, patrons and the people who have bought me a coffee and stuff on Amazon and also PayPal um, you can find the links below if, if you so wish uh, not that I'm begging but you know every little bit helps doesn't it so um, hope you have a good week uh, or if you're watching at the weekend hope you have a good weekend and take care of your families. Take care of yourselves and take care of your families. And I will see you on the next video. Okay, all right then guys, thank you very much for watching. All right, see you soon. Bye for now.